Hey guys, welcome back. Um, now we're officially living in the Prius. Um, we have our zero degree sleeping bag. Um, we have all the gear that we need. Went to Walmart, got a little bin, you know, to put all our personal hygiene stuff in. Shampoo, stuff like that. Razors, toothbrush. Um, we have the Delta portable power station behind me under the passenger seat. Uh, for security measures, I chained it up with a cut-proof lock and a um, cut-proof chain, so nobody can get through it and steal it. God forbid if the car ever did get broken into. You never know where we're going to end up. Like, rest stop or... Like we're at now, we're at a hotel. Um, we're at the Quality Inn and in Raynham. So we're going to be spending the night here. Basically clearing our heads of everything that's happened this past month. Um, pretty much a lot to go through. Um, this morning we were in the apartment. It was our last day. And my girlfriend's mother decided to call the cops on us. And that basically didn't do anything. Um, the whole fight was about her wanting us to get out of the apartment for her. She wanted to be the last to leave and spiteful and bipolar schizophrenic. That's how that is. Glad we're not near that anymore. We'll be a lot more stress-free and happy and, you know, it'll just be us two. So we'll have a lot more building to do and a lot more updates to come. And it's winter right now. So we're having problems with the car too. Um, we have an oil leak. So we're bringing it down to the shop on the 4th. To have that looked at, along with having a water pump, uh, serpentine belt, and thermostat installed with new coolant because it has 177,000 miles on it. So we want to definitely make sure the engine is sound and we can rely on it. I mean, it's already a Toyota, so it's reliable. So we're just taking that extra step. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to be spending the night in the hotel. Pretty sure she's looking out the window. No. We got more stuff inside. There she is. I thought you'd be looking at those stuff. I was. Huh. I'm making sure you're safe. Yeah. I'm making you comfortable. Especially in places too. like this. Yeah, I keep being loud next to them too. Yeah. Uh, that's why a two and a half star hotel you should expect that so basically we have um we bought this for insulation for the windows so we basically cut it to size this one here for the windshield so we have it cut for the two back windows the very back window the two little side windows in the back we're going to leave the passenger side and driver side front window um, unblocked so we can see around us and you know it's tinted anyway so we'll have privacy um, but today tomorrow we'll be out of the hotel fully living in the Prius full time so we'll have more update videos um, alright catch us in the next one This shit's been going on all fucking night. Like, look at it. That's 2.27 right there. 2.27 in the morning. I'm gonna pay $130. For what? When I could've slept in my fucking car. Okay, so update on the night that we had at the hotel. Um, turned out to be one of the worst experiences we've both had in a hotel. Um, it was about 10 o'clock. We didn't really want to do anything, you know, we wanted to be passive about it all. And there weren't very good people next door talking about having a lot of money. And I guess he was hitting his girl. There were two girls there. 
And the girl was like, oh, I have enough black eyes. You're not going to hit me anymore. You're a dirty this, blah, blah, blah. So we ended up going to the office and talking to the person there. And they switched our room, two rooms over. So we had peace and quiet. We had to move everything out at 2 in the morning, 2 to 3 in the morning, actually. So we missed breakfast. Um, so they knocked 20% off of our bill. So we only paid 110 for the night, which was a complete waste of money. We should have just stayed in the car, but it was supposed to be a special night. You know, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day type of thing. Um, but I'm not going to let that ruin anything. Went to a couple stores, picked up some more things that we need, like a laundry bag and another bin. And, yeah, we're fully ready. Um, tell you what we got so far. Right now I'm at my mother's house. There's our kitties right there. Peanut, Simon, Daisy, and Teddy are all here, so we got four cats. Currently, we just got some litter and cat food for them. It's hard to find any cat food. They didn't have any at Walmart when we went. Either Walmart. So, nothing pulled out. I got tape and I taped up the window insulation. So that's not going anywhere and it's going to stay up permanently. Um, we got bags, we condensed a lot, so we got an air mattress in case we ever need to camp somewhere, maybe get a tent, you know, if we don't feel like sleeping in the car, but we got extra blankets, many extra blankets, and a zero degree sleeping bag on a twin mattress, and underneath, I realized there was a little puddle forming, so I flex sealed it in the corner under the panel there. Um, those are the bins we got. I put like two, but of all of our toothpaste and everything that we needed, I condensed it and it fit all. And I don't have to put, I can put two backpacks in the third unit. Yeah. yeah. So we can get rid of a couple more things, maybe the suitcase. So we'll have a lot more room in there. And under here we have the 1200 watt, 1800 watt capacity Delta inverter. I'll show you right here. There it is. So as you can see, there's 99 hours that this thing can be on standby. Um, I did a review on it, a little quick one. You can check it out in my other video. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be our heat source if we can't run the car. Because as of right now, we have an oil leak. So we're going to have to get a water pump um serpentine built thermostat which we already have we already have all the parts right in here everything we need built and polluted um but the other issue we have is we went to a mechanic in bridgewater uh reed's auto shout out to you guys um we went there with our 08 prius and we realize it must have an oil leak because we're smelling oil in the vents when we turn the car on sometimes. Um, we know maybe it's overheating and causing the oil to burn off. Um, maybe the water pump's no good, um, which caused over time the seals. It could be the valve seat seals under the spark plug, so we might either need those or it might be easier just to get a new head for it. But we want to make sure the engine is reliable when we're living in this thing full time we're gonna get anything it needs uh, we got roof racks coming we got the little sidebars those are coming in from ebay i think we spent 80 bucks on those and then we can get a solar panel for the delta run the cords up through the trunk seal and there we go we got power all the time if we get a 400 watt panel it'll charge it in about four hours so that'll be good for when we're working. We'll be done charging by the time lunch comes around. So yeah, that's a little update on everything. Um, we got the money right now for the engine repairs. Um, and anything else that we need. And a separate bank account. So we're going to be doing pretty good. You know, instead of getting an apartment and making somebody else rich. And if anything ever happens to our job that we're working together on. 
we'll still have a place to stay. We won't have to go through this again and move, get a storage unit, get a truck, rush around, take a day off and lose money. You know, it just makes more sense to us. And we don't want to be tied down. We want to go anywhere we want to. So we figure getting a truck and a camper is going to be the easiest way. And we're just going to be living out of the Prius for now. Um, January is going to be one of the coldest months. We, once we get through this month, you know, spring will come around. We'll be, it'll be a little easier on us. We can cook out of the back. We can get a little grill. Um, if we even need to, get a propane heater on top of the car heater, on top of the Delta Pro. Um, so yeah, that's a little update. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Catch you guys in the next video.